All right, it's time to take some of your questions. First up, I was invited to a summer wedding and I have a cream color dress that I really want to wear. My husband says it's a faux pas because it's too close to white, but I disagree. It's cream. Please help us settle this debate. That is from Kelly. Kelly, your husband is correct. It is a faux pas. If you even, don't, Just nowhere near white. It's so simple. It, unless the bride explicitly asks you to wear cream, and sometimes that is a trend because you're in the wedding party and they want the girls to be sort of wearing off-white, close to the bride, so the photos look pretty. Just stay away from it. There's so many other colors, so many other colors. You just do not wear anything that is even close to white. Cream is too close to white. If she has to go, oh, is it cream or is it white? It's too close to white. If you even have to ask the question... It's too close to white. It's it's the one day that you're just not allowed to be anywhere near that color wheel or not color wheel. I guess it's white. It's not really a color, but you just don't do it, please. It is such a faux pas. And I have had friends ask me that question in the past, like, is this like yellow? It's, it's actually a pale yellow. Don't wear a pale yellow. If you have to ask the question, the answer is no. Next question. Do you believe in the Illuminati? Uh, do I believe that there is a small cartel that controls the world? Absolutely. I'll say that. Do you trophy hunt? Uh, No, I do not trophy hunt. I think that I will always be a person that hunts to know that I can shoot and that I have the skill set to hunt, but I don't have this thing in me that's like, now I want a bigger animal or I want a different animal or I want to make sure the horns are the biggest or anything like that. Um, I will probably hunt every single time I go to Africa and I will definitely hunt my own land in Africa. We just purchased a ton of acres because it's so important to have your own property, of course, especially when times are hard. And I will without question be hunting stag on my property. So there you go. Next question. Do you think a woman's body count matters? Yep. I think it does matter. And I think that most women know that it does matter. Um, Sex is not the same for men and women. It comes down to biological differences. You guys know, I always tell you to read that book by E.O. Wilson on human nature. He describes how a woman's body is literally designed to want to find a partner. And it is because we have 400 eggs over our entire lifetime. So our body is telling us preserve, 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 find a partner, mate with that person and procreate. While a man's body is like in the wild, they're, they're screaming at them to spread their seed so that you can increase your pack numbers. It, uh, the thesis of that book being that you can correlate he, our human traits. At the end of the day, we're animals to the behavior that we see in the wild. And so I think that men feel less when they sleep around. And I think from a woman, it takes a piece of her every single time. And that women don't want to admit that because there's this popular idea of, well, he's doing it, so why can't I? You can. You shouldn't. And by the way, if you want to know who a woman count matters to also, aside from the woman who I think it takes, it eats at her esteem, um, I think that it also matters to men. I think if a guy is dating a woman and she says, I have slept with 25 men, men uh, like to hunt the trophy. I don't know. That's the best thing I'm going to say, right? You want, a man does not want a girl that he knows that a lot of other men have been through. I think men naturally think, okay, I want the prize. And it is not the prize if a bunch of other men have had her too. So that's my instinct on it. If you slept with 25 men, please don't attack me. Do your thing, homie. Go for 40. I'm just telling you my opinion. This is an opinionation, opinionator portion of the show. Next question. What do you think Harry is trying to do with these allegations? What is the purpose? I'm assuming you're talking about Prince Harry. I don't even want to talk about him anymore because it's actually just, it's gotten so obnoxious. It's gotten so whiny. He's acting like such a little And it's like seeing a man with his tail between its legs. It's gross. Following his wife. Like the undoing of Harry, like Harry went from a man to a little third grade That's what it is. Like, you know, like when you like are you know, talking trash next to your locker with your girlfriend. She's like, oh my God, he like said this to me. I'm like, oh, yeah. That's how I see Prince Harry now. And he grosses me out. And I think that he... All he's trying to do now is make money. He has no talents. He's obviously quite stupid. Any talents that he did have, he used to hunt, he used to shoot. His wife has neutered him. He doesn't do any of that anymore. So the only thing he's good at now is talking trash. And America will pay you to a certain extent to talk trash. Uh, But I think it comes with its limits. I think America is now going, okay, we get it. You hate your family. And the only way to deal with that is that they need to completely separate from him entirely, give him no more content. There was no such thing as having a private discussion with Prince Harry. If you're his brother, his mother, his aunt, his cousin, all of it can become fodder for him and his sleazy little wife to sell. So 
That's my take. I think he's just trying to make money and he's become a whore. There you go. Next question. Is it a bad idea to invite our best friends, a married couple, to live with us in our first year of marriage? That question is from Emily. Emily, it is a terrible idea to invite anybody to live with you in your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, any year of marriage. I I do think that it's fine to have visitors, but I think it's very important for married couples to live on their own. You know, strong exceptions. You have a relative, your mom, your dad is is sick, moving them in for a little bit. But I I don't think it's a great idea to live with another couple. They have their own their own means that they want to live. It will kind of get in the way of you guys building your own life, especially during that crucial time where you're coming together as a couple for the first time and you're building that part of your life. You don't want to be living with them. What are you going to get pregnant? And then you're not pregnant. You're like saying good morning to your friend and his wife. And what if one of them likes to party? I mean, that stuff, you got to leave that in college. You know what I mean? Post-college, you have a roommate. The roommate sucks. Even roommates suck. I mean, how hard is it to even get a good roommate? Now you're going to run your odds by having an entire second couple living with you? Not a good idea. I would say no. But if you're just being a good friend and they really, really need it, then I would say still don't do it. Just don't do it. Next question. Thoughts on Northwest dressing as her parents on TikTok? I think it's horrible that North has TikTok, but I think it's funny that she dresses like her parents. It's cute. It's funny. It's lighthearted. Um, and obviously, it made people laugh on the internet. So there's my opinion. Next question. What skill do you think more women should develop? Sadly, uh, just being able to cook, <laughs> to be able to provide for their families. The modern feminist wave has led to a bunch of women who are utterly incapable. I can't even imagine why any man would want to marry a woman who doesn't know how to do anything, right? But like, oh, but I get dressed up. You don't cook. You don't clean because of feminism. You don't know how to garden. You don't know how to do anything because you think that just what getting like, you know, your lips done and doing kissy faces on the internet somehow makes you a good partner. No, Um, I think that women should hone in on skills within and around the household, all of them. So that would be my advice. Learn to cook, learn to cook from scratch, especially uh, feeding your family is so important if you're a woman and grow some stuff, you know, put some seeds in some dirt and see what happens. All right, guys, next portion of the show is going to be available exclusively on Daily Wire Plus. Today is going to be the Monday mailbag, so I'm going to be diving into your emails and social media questions and give you guys my thoughts on all sorts of things like pit bulls. Yep, there's been another death uh, involving a child, talking about the Illuminati, and of course, Damar Hamlin's recent collapse on the field. All that and plus more. So if you're not a member yet, go ahead and click the link in the description and subscribe right now. 